everyone and welcome to my new doll repaint video. Some weeks ago we have created a doll together following your instructions on my Instagram stories. And then I felt really sad that many of really good and interesting options have lost the voting and were not selected for that doll. And then I gave you an idea of making some sort of an alternative doll using all the options that were not selected. And it seems many of you have found this idea really cool. And here we are, let's do it today. Here is the first version of this doll that we have made together with you. So don't worry, I didn't erase her face, she will not disappear. And here is her future alternative version, the twin sister. I have already erased her face, cut her hair off and I sprayed her face with three layers of Mr. Super Clear sealant ready to start work. So let's start and let's see where we will end up in the end of this video. Then we will be able to put these dolls again together next to each other and see how they will look together, the winner doll and the loser one. So let's go! So, before recording the intro, I have unpacked the doll and they're like always lots of useless accessories inside that crack and do when you try to use them. She has this very poor quality hair with lots of bold spots like always, so I will cut her hair very short and then with pure acetone I will remove her face and the so-called dress. And now let's go to my Instagram and check the polls. First of all, it's about her hair. Then most of you have voted for blue hair and it means this time I will take the pink color like it was wanted by 32% of my followers. And the second question was about the style of her eyes. Last time I gave my doll bigger cartoonish eyes following the 55% of the voters and today we will go for small realistic eyes, like the 45% of the followers wanted. So, I take my watercolor pencils in the Caput Mortum color and I sketch her eyes. And I use like always Faber Castell Albrecht Durer pencils. Oh, and I probably forgot to say that before starting to draw on her face, I have sealed it with three layers of Mr. Super Clear sealant. Then I'm sketching her eyebrows using my regular technique. So first I draw massive scary eyebrows with soft pastels and then I shape them with a little piece of an eraser. The next question was about her skin color. Last time it was a pale girl and today we are going to make a tanned one, so we will need darker pastels this time.
I still add some extra dark contouring and a touch of blush. And then I had two questions concerning the eye area. First of all, we're choosing the eye color, and 60% of you have voted for the gray eyes. And since we're supporting the minority today, we will go for the blue eyes. And then I asked you about the eyeshadows. This silver color has won the bottles, so let's give her pink eyeshadows this time. And first I work on her lids with soft pastels, and then I will take my pencils and start drawing her eyes. Then I make all the colors brighter with a wet brush. While the eyes are drying, I will add hairs to her eyebrows. Then we were voting for a lip color, and the red lips have won with a very little difference in results. And I really, really, really wanted to make the blue lips for once, so today I finally have a chance to do it.
With the white pencil I draw the smile and then I add shadows to her mouth with the grey pencil. And then I work more detailed on her eyes, on the white of her eyes, the irises, the waterline, the eyelids, sad all the time shadows, highlights and color accents, everything that makes it more realistic and alive.
Then with a very sharp black pencil I draw the bottom lashes and the eyeliner. And with a grey pencil I slightly draw the teeth. Then I still add the last highlights first with a pencil and then with white acrylic paint. And then I think we can move on. still two questions left on my Instagram and one of them was about adding silver highlighter and another one about sparkling stars. And you were positive about both of the options the last time, so today I can use none of them. So I can start working on her wig and as you remember you have not voted for pink hair, that's why we're using it today. There is something rebellious in this challenge today, I think. And now I'm attaching the lashes and then I add glossy acrylic varnish to her eyes. For her outfit I used such a golden leggings, I just cut a piece of it and put it around the doll's shoulders. So here is the result of our anti-challenge today and now tell me honestly which one you like most. Me personally, I love the one from today more because of the smaller eyes and the more mature and realistic look. But at the same time, my husband is more a fan of the first one with blue hair. Yeah, we are all different and we all love different things and it makes things much more interesting. It's more diversity in the world. So, and what is your choice today? I will wait for your feedback here in the comments. And I will also probably post on poll on Instagram stories to see which doll prefer the people who took part in these votings on my Instagram. So, and it was my makeover of the week. I really hope you enjoyed it. And if so, please support my channel with your likes. And also check if you are subscribed to my channel and if the notifications bell is on then you will for sure not miss my new Dory paints every week Friday. And now enjoy your summer, have fun, and I will see you already very soon in my new videos. Bye!